Hello everybody, it's Scott Omaro. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Labby Mod 3 in Multi-MC for Minecraft versions 1.8.9 and version 1.12.2, guys. Pretty easy to do in Multi-MC because uh, we are gonna do it as a Forge mod, okay? So basically, you want to go to labbymod.net here and you want to go to the download page okay and you will download an installer here it is free for windows mac or linux guys so uh and multi mc works for all of those as well you will want to get multi mc from multi mc.org okay and you can download it for all three platforms so basically check the change log and all that stuff but we'll get the newest version okay so once you've downloaded that guy to your disk uh, go to the folder where you have it and then you will see that there is a Labby Mod 3 installer, okay? Now I'm on a Mac, but Windows is exactly the same, guys. No difference between them. Okay, so here is the installer for Labby Mod. What we wanna do is we wanna go through and select our version. We are going to want to select Forge, okay? And that'll get us the version that we'll select next. We're not gonna worry about any of the mods or add-ons for it at this time, okay? But what we wanna do is we want to prick press the extract button okay and that'll take us to a folder that we can browse and then this is going to be the desktop so i'll just extract that to the desktop now while we're at it we'll go ahead and do the same thing with the 1.12.2 version and we'll get forge and we will choose next and then we will extract it and it will put it on our desktops okay so we are done now with the installer guys okay uh, one thing you may want to get is a resource pack for it okay now for 1.12.2 uh, there's not really as many resource packs the and the GUI has changed in those versions but here's a good one for um, Labby Mod Faithful Edit available from resourcepacks24.de I will put in a link and you can grab that okay it's a good pack uh, so we'll download that guy and use it and here it is right here alright now when you do download it I'll quickly mention that you will need to extract the folder out of it okay it it comes pre-packaged in a zip file so you'll need to open the zip file and get the uh, actual pack out of it okay uh, so that that's just something that resource packs 24 does all right now we're going to go and go into multi mc now so we're going to create a new instance uh, when you install multi mc you'll have this blank window if you're not familiar with it and we are going to use it to create our instances for it so we're going to do one for 1.8.9 we're going to name it labby mod 1.8.9 now from this list here we need to select that version of minecraft so we're going to select version 1.8.9 then we're going to hit ok and that will pull down the instance that we need now we can right click on that guy and choose edit instance and then we can install forge right from multi mc inside of multi mc so there's an install area here install forge now it goes to a recommended version that's starred all right but Pretty much Forge development is done on 1.8.9, so you might as well just get the last version of that. So you can scroll all the way to the top and select the newest version. All right, and when you do that, it'll get all of the necessary files to pull it down. And when you choose launch, it will pull down the files for Minecraft, um, all the assets and everything that it needs, Forge and install it and, and just do it all for you automatically. Okay, so that makes it super nice. So we'll go ahead and let this guy launch while we do the very same thing with 1.12.2. We'll do Labby Mod 1.12.2, get the version 1.12.2, OK, that guy, get it pulled down, right click on it, edit instance, get our Forge version. We'll This time we'll use the recommended one and we're in good shape. Close. OK, I'm going to go ahead and shut that music off. and. Everything installed, it tells us Forge is installed, so we're in good shape. And just for the future launches, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get rid of the music. Okay, so here we go, that is good. Uh, we can, of course, do the exact same thing on 1.12.2. Uh, and that's the window for 1.8.9 here. So what we wanna do is, you can get that again by right-clicking here. Uh, this is launching right click and choosing edit instance okay and that will open this instance window at which point you want to go to the loader mods tab here okay and uh, let's let that launch into the background Oops. okay and we're going to go to the folder where we extracted the labby mod okay and, and in this case it was the desktop 
I'm going to just copy both of those files and put them here into my main folder. Okay, so uh, multitasking here, go ahead and everything launched fine in 1.12.2, turn the music off. We're good, Forge is installed in 1.12.2, we're ready to go on that guy. Okay, so these are our two mods that we extracted right here. Okay, so there's Labby Mod 3, 1.8.9, Labby Mod 3, 1.12.2. Let's not get them confused because here we have the 1.8.9 window, the loader mods tab selected, and we just want to drag it into there. Okay, that's it. That installs Labby Mod, guys. That's it. So we launch and Labby Mod will be installed. Okay, so again, as I was doing before, while that's launching, I'll go ahead and do the exact same thing. Edit instance, loader mods, um, grab that 1.12 version, put it in there and then close. This, this time I'll, I'll just go ahead and let it, uh, let the uh, 1.8.9 launch. Okay, so you can see a log and everything as it's launching. Uh, there shouldn't be any major errors or anything in that as you go. All right, so let's let that guy launch. Uh, here's the window here. It has launched. Now it's telling us it's Labby Mod 3.3.4. We have the link to the Labby Mod Twitter here at the top. The, it's installed guys. So we go to options. And we have a new button up here called Labby Mod Settings. Okay, so we're able to go into that and access all of our Labby Mod Settings. Okay, now we could of course go full screen and uh, access the in-game GUI uh, where we can configure things that we want. Uh, you could choose to, it to be on or off. You can choose your settings for it, colors, all this kind of stuff, just tons and tons of setting guys. But here we'll go ahead and install our add-ons as well, okay? So instead of choosing them from those from the installer, we'll install them here. Okay, so let's say for instance, I wanted to get the mini map and I want to get uh, keystrokes and I want to get uh, toggle sneak. Okay, uh, so you go through and choose which ones you want. You could get the resource pack 24 to browse it from there. Uh, but that pack that I showed you for some reason doesn't come up easily inside of that. You can also install Optifine from this point, and that's fine as well. Uh, you know, whatever, whichever ones that you want. Now I have found a problem with motion blur on my version of Mac that creates a lot of, uh, it works, but it creates a lot of issues. So I don't use that, okay? But once I've gone through, let's, let me show you where this stuff gets installed and what actually happens. If I go into the edit, uh, not the edit instance folder, into the instance folder itself for MultiMC, that's going to open here, and there is our .minecraft folder. On Mac, that is a hidden folder. You will need to have hidden files shown, or it's been made easier in the newest versions of MultiMC because now we have this Minecraft folder button. Okay, that basically opens the, the same uh, window except into the Minecraft folder. So. Here we have a Labby Mod folder, and inside the Labby Mod folder is going to be our settings for everything, uh, Optifine handlers even, and all that, and then the add-ons that we added. Okay, so you, you can manage your add-ons there, and then the configs for them are in there as well. And so that's Labby Mod, and then in the Mods folder is where your Labby Fine and or, or Labby Mod and Optifine are installed. Okay, and that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, you'll have some Forge settings here. You'll have your regular Minecraft options inside of here. All right, so there we go. That's the basically the file structure of uh, how it works in um, in MultiMC. So we'll go ahead and launch again. Bring that back up. We'll add our resource pack. Uh, we can, of course, do it afterwards while it's launching. I'll go ahead and take that resource pack that I repackaged, which is right here, and drag it into the resource packs window, okay? And then at the same time, I'm gonna go ahead and get a, uh, a cloud pack, okay? So this is a Kyle 178965's cloud pack, uh, and you see that in a lot of stuff like Lively and a um, bunch of stuff has it, a realistic world or something. You know, a bunch of different ones use this, this pack. It's really nice. Okay, so again, we have got our basic mods going. We actually have Optifine installed. It has been installed through Labby Mod. We could go through and make all of our settings that we want here, you know, graphics fast or whatever you want. 
you can change your render distance if you want to do that max frame rates uh, VBOs you know just however you set stuff up you can do that okay and you could add shaders if you want or whatever from there but just keep in mind that your labby mod settings are available from this screen and then your um, uh, well we need to turn off fast render for some reason on this version of Optifine that is a default uh, version so we want to turn that off um, right there okay so you want to go under performance and turn that guy off then you'll be able to re access your in-game GUI again and we'll go to full screen um, so you could do that and again I'm not going to go deeply into the settings I just wanted to show you how to access all of the different screens uh, that you'll need if you want me to do another video on settings I'll be more than happy to do it here's your texture packs go ahead and add them and you'll be in good shape to enjoy all the beauty that is Lavi Mod um, and all the cool stuff that you can do. So again, I really like this texture pack. It's, it's really nice. Okay, so there we go for 1.8.9. Uh, everything's done. Now, same thing exactly in 1.12.2, guys. Uh, again, that 1.8.9 texture pack, pretty much everything will work except for the GUI and it wouldn't style the new 1.12.2 blocks. The GUI's change, remember, in 1.8.94, for uh, dual wielding is the main thing that's going to change. So you're not really going to be able to uh, to get that. But uh, like I said, Labby Mod is definitely installed. You can configure it the same way with going through and getting the mods and the add-ons and everything that you want for that. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. And again, very, very simple to do in Multi-MC, guys really really simple and yet it's going to really give you excellent performance too because multi mc is so light um, in its usage of memory and everything is so well organized and you can uh, keep it all together and use it anyway please leave a like on this video guys if you like it and thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one this is scott omato bye bye